All right. Um, we, well, we can't do a rebuild because that's going to take more than three years to get ourselves even probably competitive. So it's going to have to be a team that um, that has assets already. Like a team that we, that I think that we can get. We could try and win a, a, a Stanley Cup with the San Jose Sharks. And, and redeem ourselves from our Bia Pro failures. What? It, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing a GM mode with the Sharks. Um, budgets, revenue, relocation, owner goals, GM firing. No. Get 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 off. No one cares. Bodker. That's the first thing we're gonna do is get is trade away Mikel Bodker. Get him out. Get him off the team. He's the he's what's gonna uh, hinder us from from winning a Stanley Cup. Fantasy draft. No. Salary cap, yes. No need to get us fired because that would just completely waste all of our time if it did. CPU trades on. Morale meetings, sure. Waivers on. Assistant coach edit line, sure. Auto sign free agents, nope. All right. Uh, we can leave all that. Yeah, we can leave all that the same. Shouldn't change anything. All right. An impromptu GM mode with the San Jose Sharks. Keep salary cap on, yes. Man, where are the new subs today? We don't have any. No new subscriptions today. Craig was the last one, and he was an offline sub. sub. Like, what? Ugh, come on, y'all. What's, what y'all what y'all doing? Where'd you go? Oh, three people watching. Oh, apparently NHL is not uh, not the popular choice. What did I listen to you guys for? Yeah, Madden went well. Madden went very well. That's gonna be a fun episode. All right. So here we are. 16 17 season let's uh let's check out the san jose sharks rattle off sign to dallas i saw that uh yes please that way it shouldn't stop too much tj just straight up hate straight up hates madden why man i like madden Madden's a good time sometimes let's get tierney in here over this garbage right winger so this is just the base team um i think for the most part team is fairly fairly good could use a backup goalie that's what we're gonna do we're gonna trade mikhail bodker for uh backup goal backup goalie that's it so bodker needs to go straight away Let's find him. Where is he? Or is he not on that? There he is. There he is. What's his What's his overall? Like, does he have any value? Got a little bit. 84. 84 overall right winger. All right. So for a backup goalie, who's got multiple goalies? Let's see if we can get somebody from the Detroit Red Wings. See if we can get like a Jimmy Howard. Jimmy Howard, Peter Morazic. Nope. The New Jersey Devils. There's that. Blackwood. Nope, he's even worse. Nope. The Islanders, Soderstrom, nope. Nope. Nobody's got extra goalies. Nobody's got extra goalies. Flurry, Murray, nope. 
the blues. They got... Why is this guy listed ahead? We could try and get Jake Allen. It's league approved. We'd have to put more into um, into this trade. I have a feeling. You. See if that see if that does any does us any good. We are going to trade for this goalie. They want Schlemko, but I can't trade him away. Rod. This guy's last name is Rod. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. The trades in this game. Okay, well I guess Mikel Bodker's staying on this game because I'm not I'm not screwing around with trades for no apparent reason. All right, hopefully the assistant coach handles all the line changes so we can just simulate. So let's sim. Let's see, first three games of the regular season. Yes, who cares? Come on, let's go. Fucking scouting assignments, man. Forwards. Six weeks, so you don't bug me again. Maybe it sims a little bit faster when um when you when you don't have all those stupid line changes and roster moves to do. Maybe it sims a little bit faster. Salary cap compliant, guy. San Jose Barracuda do not feel or do not seem like a very um, high-ranking uh, organization. They do not seem like a very deep team. Right. One, one, and one. Go figure. That's just what NHL does. Random simulation. Random results. It's just what happens in this game. All right. Wins, loss. It's probably an overtime loss, so it'll be two, two, and two. Oh, no, win. Three, three, and one. Go figure. All right. Three more games. We could just sim the season really quickly. Sim up to the trade deadline. It shouldn't bug us too much with the uh, the roster changes being handed to the assistant coach. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and just sim to the, uh, the all-star break and see how we're doing. The month of November has not been kind to me in GM mode. So we will sim to right here and just kind of let it go. In the meantime, guys can just talk. We can just talk for a minute, guys. It's fun. Oh, I'm opening my files for some reason. Um, yeah. So hopefully, oh, we got a trade offer. They want Redeem Verbata. Or no, we, they would uh, they would get us Redeem Verbata. For this might be. No, they want our third round pick. Why would it? Why would I? I mean, I guess we could, if Redeem Verbata is even any good still. 84 overall? Who's this guy? 69 overall left winger. Potential medium bottom six. They won our third round pick. I'm good with this. Gonna have to send down, send down some guy named Spalling, but that's good. I, that, that's one of the rare trades that I get offered that I'm like, oh, hell yeah. All right, we're keeping it. We're keeping it in Canada. Forwards, six weeks. Boom. All right, what's our record? We're five, six, and one. This is so NHL 17. 
This is so very much like NHL 17. Oh, it feels like we never left. This ought to be fun. Couple back-to-back -back wins. Three straight wins there. Or four straight wins with, a, with that game with Pittsburgh. Come on. Nope, shootout loss. But we got more points. Points are good. All right. Arizona Coyotes. Okay, what do we got going on here? They want to give a Shane Doan, the old man, who's an 83 overall. They want Detroit's third that they have for some reason. And this guy. No, we don't need we don't need Shane Doan. We've already traded for one old Wiley veteran. We don't need another. St. Louis Blues. 8-8-2. Eight, eight, and two. Uh, Minor top two defenseman. No, don't need this guy. All right. 7-3 win. Hey, there we go. The offense coming alive. Whoa! Yarimir Yager. They sure do want a lot for, for the old man. What's Yager's rating? 87. Ooh. You know he's just going to retire after this year. 44. Third round pick. The Sharks third. Couple of garbage for fuck yeah guys. Oh, it's gonna it needs to move down some guys. Don Scoy Ward. It's gonna move down Joel Ward. Mueller. But Yager, guys! Yaramir Yager is a San Jose Shark. You know he's just gonna drop off tremendously. But we need to acquire all the, the studs that we can. Oh, a couple of losses after the trade. Not good. Three straight losses. Nope, we're stepping in. We're stepping in. We're 9-9-2. Nine, nine and two. Finally a shootout win. Stop the sim. There we go. Jesus. All right. Let's edit the lines and let's get them where we want. Tigers are done if they don't sweep the Giants. I mean, they're done anyways, but we can dream, right? I don't know if they're done done yet. Not not quite ready to give up on them yet. Call it defense. Why is that guy our starter? Move Martin Jones in there. That's what we should have turned off. Turn off auto goalie rotations. Because we don't want that guy starting any games. Give Martin Jones the, the bulk of everything. Alright, come on. Auto rotate goalies off. There we go. I'm not even sure what the settings are on, and I don't care. All right, back to the sim. Didn't really see the need to make any line changes. I didn't really look deeply into the stats, though. So let's real quickly do that. If anybody's struggling, move them up. Or if, if anybody's struggling, move them down. If anybody's doing too well for what they're doing. See, Yager's minus 11. I don't know if I want him on the top line. Thornton's minus 13. Pavelski's minus 9. Let's move Couture up. Verbata is minus. Bodker somehow is plus. We'll just swap centers. Hopefully Joe Thornton being moved down to the second line helps out that second line. Hurdle, he's good. But we're just we look to be just a... Uh, even team in terms of goals scored and goals against Joel Ward. I mean, there's not really anything that I can see that we need to change so drastically right now on offense. Top defensive pairing is a little rough, but the second defensive pairing is even worse. And Brendan Dillon and Mirko Mueller are a little bit better. I'm going to move Brendan Dillon up, move Paul Martin down, see if that gets those two defensive pairings working. Other than that, I don't really see anything that we can we can change uh, that needs to be changed. There may be some other stuff, but right now it's just so so hard to say. All right, January. Back to January. Jesus, what this calendar? Um, simulate to the All Star break once again. Getting some trade offers, which is very bizarre. We don't usually get those um, without the game. Um, knowing that it's near the trade deadline. It's very strange.
But, um, yeah. Let's hope we get, uh, hope we start winning some games. Win, win, overtime loss. I'm good with that. We're back in the win column for a couple games. Maybe my line changes did something. There's another win versus Ottawa. Yeah, there we go. We're starting to win some games. Anaheim. Win. We're due for a regulation loss here. No, another win. 15-9-4. and four. We're starting to win some games. Maybe my small tweaks to the lines helped out. What is that? Five wins in a row. Six wins in a row. This is crazy. This doesn't happen. Montreal. Seven wins in a row? This is nuts. This doesn't happen in today's NHL. Chicago. What do we got? We'll have to edit the damn scouting because that's just all this game cares about. Forwards. Six weeks. Boom. Chicago. Regulation loss, but only by a goal. We were due. It's fine. 18, 10, and 4. Picked up by another win with Calgary. We're doing good. Two days off before Edmonton. A win. Man, this team. The line tweaks. The tweaks did it. All of a sudden, we are winning games. The Anaheim Ducks. 3-0 loss. We get shut out. Eh. Not the greatest, but I'm not ready to give up hope yet. Philadelphia Flyers. Let's go. Back-to-back -back with the LA Kings. Mm, loss. Back-to-back -back regulation losses. I don't even know what happened on that last game with the Kings. Get another game with LA here. Another loss. If they lose this game, I want, I'm going to stop the sim. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That might be five straight regulation losses. Eight, eight straight wins does you nothing if you're going to lose five straight right after. Like this NHL simulation is always so streaky. They sure did. Loss, loss, loss. Loss, loss before a 3-1 win with the Detroit Red Wings. Yikes. So let's check the standings. Um, we haven't done so yet. We are in fourth, currently in a wild card spot. Um, two points out of the third place. The LA Kings are just taking off. Um, they only have eight regulation losses. Yikes. Uh, let's take a look at some lines. Yeah, Viper, I remember you. My following is, is relatively small. Like, I, It's pretty easy to remember you guys right now. Um... Let's see. Couture, still plus. Pavelski, still minus. Yager, what are you doing? Oh, God. I really don't want to move Bodker up, but he's not giving me a choice. Move Bodker up. What about Verbata? He's plus. Let's just move. This was the second line. It's now the first line. Hopefully, them playing against lesser competition helps them out. Yikes. And then these guys, they're minus. Plus, Joel Ward is plus, and Tierney is more than likely plus. Well, this is just what we're doing. Swap them. If they're not getting it done, send them down. Vlasic and Burns are still minus. Braun is minus. Brendan Dillon is still plus. Yeah, let's move Brendan Dillon up. Move Vlasic down to the second pairing, and then Mueller plus Martin still minus. If you're not getting it done... You're going down. You're getting less ice time. The ones that are getting it done, they'll get they'll get more. That's just the way it's gonna work in this one. Trade Yager for Neil. No way that would go through. Yager's so old. Alright. To the all-star break. Let's go. Hopefully the changes help. Edmonton. Edmonton Oilers. 5-4 win. There we go. Followed by an overtime loss. I'm good. We got a point. That's fine. Overtime losses are fine at this point in the season as long as they, they're not getting excessive. It's only our fifth. St. Louis Blues. Regulation loss only by a goal. Can't freak out about that too bad. Winnipeg Jets. Another overtime loss. Come on. Get back in the win column, boys. Another overtime loss. That's what I was worried about. Overtime loss. There we go. An overtime win. That's, that's better. Colorado Avalanche. Everyone like we're facing has a winning record. So how many times are we going to lose 3-2? to two? We just can't score, it doesn't look like. Another loss. Jesus. Another. Okay, no, 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 no. We won. I, I looked at the wrong thing. Uh, Edmonton, give me back-to-back -back wins. There we go. So we're at the All-Star break, 25, 18, and 7. Could be worse. We'll check the standings, and we'll check the trade uh, block here. Hopefully, um, there's something that we can uh, we can do here. 
So we are in second place, tied for second with the third place Vancouver Canucks. Um, Yager for Tatar. No, I don't want Thomas Tatar on this team. Talk about a, being a Red Wing fan. Big old disappointment Tomas Tatar is. Had a good season last year, but yikes. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Why am I going in here? Nope. Uh, let's go back and trade and improve. Just the, the speed of this game is just so damn slow. Trading block. Let's browse it. Let's see if there's anybody that we can acquire for nothing. Shane Doan, Pavel Datsuk. Ha! <laughs> acquire Pavel Datsuk. That'd be an interesting one. We're looking to win now. This team is good enough to win and go deep into the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. But we're going to need some help, I think. Patrick Sharp may be a little bit too expensive. Johan Franzen. The old man at this point. Ferentz, no. They want, they're trying to give away Roberto Luongo. Six years left. He's very expensive, though, so I'm not gonna, we're not going to be doing that. Um, the better deals that I've seen so far were up. Oh, Chimera, 83 overall. Not that great. Um, Vernon Fiddler, no, we don't need him. Mark Streit. Matt Murray, no. Vasilevsky. Uh, they want to trade away both Sedins. Both at 88 overall. $7 million. Both six, six years left. Or two years left. Uh, both 36 years old. No, we don't, we don't need the Sedins. All right, where was the deal? Pavel Datsuk we could trade for he's just gonna fall off big time after this next year but he's only got a year left if i remember correctly so we should be able to trade this guy what what can we give away for him myers a minor leaguer what about centers because pavel is a center we've got couture thornton hurdle and gregor no 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 we got couture thornton hurdle carlson and then tierney Trade away Melker Carlson. I don't even know. Tierney, I think, is playing the wing for us right now. Melker Carlson, he'd be an upgrade, but Tierney, if we can get this. Nope, that's not going to go through. What about Melker Carlson? What's his salary cap? Only 1.5 million. San Jose is going to be over the cap still by quite a considerable margin. Uh. We could trade away Hurdle. He's still 23 and still growing, so that's not really a smart trade. What about wingers? Got just old farts on the wing. This could be the chance to trade away Mikel Bodker. What does he make? 3.8? That's still way over the cap. Pavel's just not going to happen. Ashtiano Matthews, I believe is how that uh, name is said. Yikes. Trade Jager in a third for Oshi. Couture for Matthews. There's no way that goes through. No way. Let's see. Austin Matthews' trade value is probably way too high. It's up there with Morgan Riley. All right. Let's see. Let's let's play along. Logan Couture. It's not going to happen. It's actually closer than I thought it was. Couture is 27. Matthews is what? 19. If I could get this to go through, man, this would be a trade. But Logan Couture and see, we have we have all these draft picks to play around with, so these are all going to be expendable. Rejected. Okay. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Um, I traded for Austin Matthews in my last one, in my last GM mode, and I ended up regretting it. All right, who do we have for centers? Pavelski. Joe Thornton still got some trade value left at this point. Can't trade away Pavelski. It's going to have to be Couture and some picks. So let's see. That pick, that pick. Let's try two first. Oh, wait, nope. Logan's got to be in there too. I didn't realize I took Logan out. Logan Couture and two firsts for Austin Matthews. Oh, my God. It went through. 
<laughs> okay. Um, didn't expect that. Yager and Couture. Yager's pro where is Yager in terms of trade value? He's got like none. There's no way he's got like a ton of value. He's got a little bit. What about anybody else? Can we? What's uh, what's Connor McJesus gonna take? Oh, a lot. It's gonna take a lot. We could maybe swing it with Pavelski, but we'd just be so weak on wingers. So Austin Matthews on the squad. What about Sid the Kid? Can we can we acquire Sidney Crosby? Hell no. Chris Letang is so overvalued. What the hell? Um, yeah, I think we're just. Uh, I think that's our acquisition for now. If they want to offer us trades. Get Oshi. Well, we acquired TJ Oshi before, multiple times, and it didn't work out. I don't know why I chose the long way. All right. TJ Yoshi, what do they want for him? It's affordable. Let's see what we need to give up for him. Mark Edward Vlasic. Um, can maybe get away with Justin Braun. Justin Braun and some picks. Hmm. Do we have the defense to be able to trade away Braun? We have Burns, Vlasic, Braun, Martin, Mueller, Dillon. And then we could put Schlemko in if we need to. Yeah, let's put Justin Braun in with a first. Because we still have four firsts to play with. This might actually go through. Rejected. Okay, what about a future second in here? Future second. Let's go that one. Still rejected. All right. How about another second? Hell, let's give him two seconds. Two more seconds. No, I don't like that. That's a lot of value. Rejected. All right. One more second. Trade away all of our second round picks that we currently have. Rejected. All right. One extra first, but that is all I'm willing to give up. We're going to have to call up Schlemko. Good deal. Boom. TJ Yoshi. All right. We're done. No, no more trades. <laughs> no more right now. Um, let's go and sim to the trade deadline, see if we get any trades offered to us. That would be lovely. I would definitely appreciate that. Hopefully the assistant coach does good things with the rosters and I don't have to intervene. Uh, Shane Doan. No. No. We don't need that. We don't need that old man. 3 nothing loss. They are not stopping with this trade. Vancouver, come on. Come on. 7-1 loss. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, I, I want to make sure that the rosters are right. So come on. Let's go. Edit lines. All right. Let's see. Thornton... Pavelski, Yager, nope, I, let's see, we didn't want that. I'm going to move Austin Matthews to the top line, move Thornton down to the second, move Yager, move Vervada up, move Oshi, move Pavelski down. Bodker's on the third line now. Defense is okay. Make sure Jones is still our starter. Good deal. Those are the changes we made before. I'm going to leave the uh, fourth line, the third, third and fourth line the way it is. And uh, we are going to sim to the trade deadline. Hopefully, we get a good deal offered to us. Jerome Ginla for, I think, defenseman that we can't afford to give up. But let's see. Let's see. They want this guy who is a AHL top six potential at 66 overall. Rourke Cartier and Mark Schumann. I mean, this is a no-brainer, I think. Yes, please. Gonna have to send down Tierney and Ward. I am okay with that. Yes, sir. Jerome Ginla, welcome to the squad. We're just acquiring everybody. 
Um, four straight regulation losses, though. We are we are falling off the wagon very, very quickly. All right, let's edit some lines. Let's get everyone where we need them to be. Because we were winning games, and then all of a sudden we made these trades, and now all of a sudden we're losing games. So we'll stop that. Um, it moved, See, it moved Thornton back up. So we're going to have to turn off uh, assistant coach edit lines. So move Matthews up. Move Oshi up. Move Verbata up. Because the second line is still double-digit minus. Yeah, not good. Hurdle is still minus. Aginla is plus six. We'll move him up. Move Pavelski. Actually, move Aginla. Aginla is a right wing. You know what? We'll leave him for now. Marlowe, minus. Hurdle, minus. Maybe maybe Aginla can get these guys going. Melker Carlson, move him up. Wingles is minus. Bodker is just minus, but he's way less minus than... Uh, Patrick Marlowe, so we'll move him down. So again, LaCarlson, Bodker, Hurdle, Wingles, Marlowe. And then on defense, what do we got? Vlasic is minus 9. Burns, minus 10. Yikes. A two-way defense, two defender and a defensive defenseman are that far minus. Like, what is going on? Um, these guys, Brendan Dillon's still good. Paul Martin is not. What about Schlemko? Schlemko's minus, and Mueller is minus. So we'll leave those guys where they are. Oshi for Matthews. Oshi, Matthews, Pavelski. Is that what you want on a line? Is that what we have? Hold on. Oshi, Matthews. Yep, that's the. I like that. Let's move Pavelski to the left wing. He can play the left wing. That's fine. Oshi, Matthews, Pavelski. Right-handed shot. They're both right-handed shots. It doesn't matter. They can play. They, they'll play there. That's fine. Okay. There we go. So I think we have the lines where we want them. Hopefully we start winning some games because we've definitely gotten off to a rough start since all, the, all these trades. So we need to start winning some games. We won that game with Boston. Let's win this game with Philly. Philly's a bad team. Or an okay team, I guess. We win that game. Um, let's see. Scout the Americans. There we go. New Jersey. Come on. Beat the Devils. There we go. Win against New Jersey. Florida Panthers. They're a winning team. Other conference. Extra point to them. Whatever. Big deal. We got a point. That's fine. Arizona. Let's go. Okay team. About a 500 team. Ooh. What is Enroth? What's his rating? Oops. He's an 82. Done. It's a better backup goalie. We can um, we can turn auto goalie rotations back on if we need to. There, we got our we got our backup goalie. Yoda Senroth. Trade deadline right around the corner. Let's go, Vancouver Canucks. With like a week off beforehand. Five four win. There we go, boys. The team is winning. All right. What's this, Sims? One last look at the trade deadline. Or at the trade block before the deadline. Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, let's see. We tried to acquire Pavel Datsuk. He was a little bit too expensive. We don't need him now. We got some pretty good centers. Um, John Michael Lyles, no, nobody here. Dennis Weidman, Brian Elliott. Flames are getting rid of all their goalies. Weidman would be okay, but I don't really, it's not that big of an improvement to the point where we would need him. Francois Beauchemin, he's too old, I don't want him. Patrick Sharp, they want too much for him. Johan Franzen is not good enough. Could have traded for Luongo as well. Not much going on in the block. Chimera, we decided we didn't didn't want. Vernon Fiddler is too old. Mark Streit. Matt Murray, they want too much. We got our goalies. Vasilevsky, same deal. Brooks like, whatever. No. The Sedins, that's they we we'd have to give up way too much to get both of them. Burroughs is not 
that big of an improvement. He might not even make the top or the bottom six. Who knows? Yeah, that's it. That's it for this trade deadline. All right. So we will sim to the end of the season. We're currently in third place. McNiven? No, we don't. We don't need him. I've never even heard of him. If he's a prospect, we don't. We don't need him. Uh, it's only going to be a three-year sim. So, whatever. So let's sim to the end of the regular season. If we need to stop it, we will. Just simulate away. Vancouver, we're competing with them. We gotta, we gotta start winning games against guys that are teams that we're competing with here in the uh, Western Conference. Not good. Back-to-back -back losses. Come on, guys, start winning games. Uh, we're gonna miss the playoffs if they keep this up. Washington Capitals. There we go. Six-two win. Back in the win column. We're okay. Start winning games. Come on, Nashville Predators. Nashville, oh, Jesus, we had that really good month, and then now it's just been so, so bad. If it wasn't for that long eight-game winning streak, we'd be, we'd be miserable, and we're starting to become miserable. We're 32 and 27, and we have a better team now. Another loss. No, we're changing things up. No, this is not happening. No, we're not doing this. Come on. Stop the sim before that Minnesota game. There we go. All right, we're going back to line changes. We're going back to line changes. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't change assistant coach edit or, or turn off assistant coach edit roster. That's why, because it put those stupid lines back in for in in for us, and they're not working. Best lines, EA Sports. Whoops, not rules. I don't think. Nope, it is apparently. <sighs> No. Assistant coach, edit lines, turn. No, no, not minimal. Jesus Christ. Game is so slow. Let's go back in there. Turn you. What? What? No. Turn it off. There. And now let's go edit our lines for maybe the final time this year. Still in third place somehow. So let's see. We had Matthews. With Pavelski on the left wing. Did Oshi Oshi got hurt? Where's where's Oshi? Yeah, Oshi and Mueller are both hurt right now. Ah man. Trade it for him and then he gets hurt. That's that's really unfortunate. Alright. So we'll put Oshi or we'll put Matthews with Pavelski and Yager. There we go. Joe Thornton on the second line. With Bodker, <laughs> with uh, what's Marlowe doing? Minus thirteen. What's what's Bodker doing? Come on, minus four. We'll leave Bodker right where he is. Fine. Redeem Verbata. It's only minus six, but we're minus all over the place. We'll move Iginla up. Hurdles minus eight. Jesus. Elker Carlson, you're plus. Let's move you up. Wingles is minus big time, and Timo Meyer is oh Jesus. <sighs> All right. Well, we really need Oshi back in the worst way. Because without him, I don't know if I really like the lines the way they are. So let's go. Getting to be crunch time. We need all these games in the worst way. Let's go. Minnesota Wild. Come on. Jesus. There we go. Available to play. One game too late. All right. So let's sub out you put in Oshi. we have so many right wingers so many right wingers so move Pavelski up with Matthews and or uh move Oshi up with Pavelski and Matthews move Yager down to the second line with him to the right wing put Aginla on the left and move Bodker up ahead of Marlowe there we go so Oshi's back now. Hopefully we can start to win some games. Because without him, I just... Uh... Oh, the, no. AHL, forget that. No. I forgot that they're both San Jose teams. Come on. Regulation win. So, uh, so Western Conference teams, guys. We can't... Uh... Assistant coach replace player. I don't care. We're going to completely collapse in this last half of the year and absolutely choke away our playoff spot. 
2-0 loss. Yeah, yeah, just let it keep on happening. Edmonton lose to them. Calgary lose to them. We are choking away our playoff spot. Can't believe I talked you guys talked me into doing this. Cannot believe I let you guys talk me into doing this. We're out of the playoffs. You already know we are. What do you know? Fifth place. Fifth place because this team and this simulation and this game are just garbage. What are we got these guys playing defense for? Oh, Burns and Mueller are hurt. Great, 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 great. I love NHL 17. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, well, I don't know what kind of... No, I don't want you on the top defensive pairing. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, let's just take the really good defender and put a really crappy defender in his place, and then it'll just be fine. He'll, he'll play the exact same. I would be surprised with NHL 17. No wonder we lost so many games. Assistant, ro assistant coach edit rosters is just killing us. Well, we got three games left to try and secure a wild card spot. I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to need to win all three, I think. Vancouver, probably a loss. 2 0 wins, keeping us in it. Edmonton, come on. What do you know? Another defenseman injury. Replace him, because what else do we have to do? 6 1 win somehow. Calgary, if we can beat him, maybe back into the playoffs. Best lines, who cares? Loss. Let's see. Did we make the playoffs? Oh my god, we did. Stop the sim! Stop it! No, there we go. Jesus Christ. Because I sim so late in the month, all of a sudden it was jumping. So we backed into the playoffs somehow, and we're going up against the Vancouver Canucks, who we just faced. We just had two games against them late in the season, and it looks like we're back to full strength. But, you know, I hit accidentally best lines, so we have to edit the lines again. So, oh, she... With Matthews and Pavelski. Thornton on the second line with Yager. And let's see. Verbata. Yeah, he was better than Marlowe. Move Bodker up ahead of uh, Marlowe. Move. Let's see. We'll leave Hurdle ahead of Carlson and Aginla to play with Hurdle and Bodker. And then Carlson centers the line with Marlowe and Wingles. Top line. Anybody back yet? Nope. Still. Well, Brendan Dillon is. So we can at least bring him back. Which one of you suck more? You. So let's put Brendan Dillon in. He'll probably just get hurt right away again. That's just how this game works. All right. Game one. Somehow, this team made the playoffs. So game one of the uh, first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go simulate yes yes who cares about the ahl and here we go so times eight sim we know bad things are probably going to happen because it's the san jose sharks what mode are you in i want to why are why i don't even know what they just said uh we're doing um franchise mode Goal is first. All right. Second period. It's quick simmed it. All right. So they got a goal. Yarnamir Yager. It uh, helped out. The trade did something. We are in Vancouver, by the way. Power play for the Sharks. No goals. Come on, boys. Let's get something. Joe Pavelski on the top line on Ryan Miller. Gets it done. Do nothing. Come on, boys. Power play. Nothing. Don't collapse. Don't lose this game. Late goal. No. No. We're good. A late goal by Louis Erickson. And the San Jose Sharks do pull out a 2-1 win. We're fine. We are fine. All right. Game two. Let's do this very quickly. Let's see. Yes, it's fine. Sim all the games you want. I don't care, game. Time's eight. No early goals. 
I'll take an early goal for us. TJ Oshie gets us on the board. Whoever suggested the Oshie trade, thank you. Joe Thornton scores on Ryan Miller. This, this is the team that I thought we had, the team that could score pretty much at will. You have really good players on offense. Power play for the Canucks. Killed off and a two-goal lead after one, both from inside the faceoff dot. Oops, I did it again. I quick sim the second period. But uh, Melker Carlson gets the third goal of the game. Berchi scores one on Martin Jones very early in the period. And third period, here we go. My favorite team, the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, boy. All right, two-goal lead again, third period. Redeem Verbata. There it is. That trade in the early part of the season, it helps out. And a 4-1 lead for the Sharks. Looking to take a two-game stint on lead in the series. We're three minutes from doing so. Another goal, late goal for Burroughs. It's kind of scary that we've allowed two late goals in the third period, but we have a 2-0 series lead heading to the Shark Tank. Beautiful. We're, we're here to redeem ourselves, boys. We're not gonna we're not gonna get swept this time. It's already a, a known fact we're not gonna get swept, but um I just I don't even know how this team made the playoffs. I've re we must have gotten some some major, major luck. Alright, game three. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Hopefully nothing too crazy happens here first period. We need a win on our home ice, take a three nothing series lead. That'd be huge. Come on. So I'm going to get the first goal. Oshi, Matthews. I don't think Matthews has scored a goal in the, in the Cup Finals, or not the Cup Finals, Stanley Cup uh, playoffs yet. He hasn't done so yet in Game 3. Second period. Let's go. Power play to start off with Redeem Verbata, his second goal in two games. Somehow, the old man's getting it done. One, uh, one nothing. about halfway through the game. There it is. What did I say, Austin Matthews? You knew it was only a matter of time on that top line. He gets a second goal. Another two-goal lead for the San Jose Sharks. Come on. Wrapping up the second. No uh, late goal again in the second period. And the uh, San Jose Sharks only have a one-goal lead now. Daniel Sedin on Martin Jones should have acquired the, one of the Sedins. Uh, at the trade deadline, but instead we didn't. He scores on us, and we have a one-goal lead going into the third period of Game 3. Let's go. Come on. Get the next goal. You feel good about it. If they tie the game, it's anybody's game. You just get the next goal. We'll be fine. Come on. Halfway through the third. All right. Six minutes. Five minutes. We've allowed late goals in the third period in each of the first two games. Power play. Nothing. Final minute. Three-nothing series lead. We are all over the Vancouver Canucks today, which is beautiful. There we go. Two to one. Let's go. So we're going for the sweep. I don't think we've swept anybody in the first round um, in NHL 17, which is very unfortunate, but um, we're going to try. We're going to try here. Got a home game. We've really dominated the Vancouver Canucks to this point in the series, so definitely a, a possibility. All right, times eight. Get the first goal. We've done so, so far. Nobody yet. Nobody yet. Power play. The power play's been doing really well, and it's Yager again. 8.22 to go in the first period, and Yaramir Yager gets the goal. How about it? First period. Done. Boom. one nothing lead. Two periods away from the next round. Let's go. Get the next one. Get another two-goal lead. We've been playing very well with two-goal leads. Power play, five on three. Joe Pavelski scores. This series couldn't have gone better to this point. Halfway through the game, two-nothing lead. As long as we don't collapse, we should be okay. But that's what this team did. They went on that eight-game win streak and then sucked the rest of the season. Austin Matthews gets a third. Second period over. We are a period away from the next round. Brett Burns is scoring goals now. Who knew? It's, it's, it's a bloodbath in game four. Joe Pavelski scores the second of the game. It's 5 nothing. We'll be moving on to the second round. Following a sweep of the Vancouver Canucks. But Brent Sutter gets one late. Gets the Canucks back in here. Power play for the Sharks. Nothing. One of the rare times our power play didn't score. But it doesn't matter. A four-game sweep, sweep of the Vancouver Canucks. And uh, we move on to round number two. Wouldn't that be something if we can win the cup in the first year? How about that? 
So there we go. We're the only team that swept uh, anybody in the first round. The Vancouver Canucks are out. Uh, the LA Kings uh, up 3-1 of the Dallas Stars. The Chicago Blackhawks and the Colorado Avalanche tied it to. And the Nashville Predators and the Minnesota Wild. Nashville with a 2-1 series lead there. So we'll simulate the day. Just keep on simulating. See who moves on. The Kings are almost certainly moving on, right? No way they blow a 3-1 lead, right? And they very well could. Nope, they're moving on. And the other uh, side of the bracket, the Lightning and the Penguins have already moved on. Panthers and Hurricanes tied at 3. And a 3-2 series lead for the Flyers. Let's go. Minnesota Wild move on. Chicago and Colorado in Game 7. Panthers and um, Carolina in Game 7. And the Philadelphia Flyers have moved on. Let's see. Scout call. Whatever. Turn around to the playoffs is over. Let's see who we're taking on. And it is, I believe, the number one seed, L.A. Kings. Oh, boy. Game one. Let's go. Uh, yikes. <laughs> this is going to be a bad one. Times eight, Sim. This team is very good, but we score first. Brent Burns on Jonathan Quick. Hell yeah, boys. Maybe a great start. A good omen. Power play. We've been so good on it so far, but the Kings kill it off. It's a better team than the Vancouver Canucks are, especially this time of year. Brent Burns with the only goal. Late stages of the first. Don't let them tie it going into the intermission. We do not. one nothing lead after one. All right. Come on, second period, get a second goal. Let's go. Next goal. Next goal would be huge. Man, Martin Jones, though, is playing his heart out in these playoffs through four games and two periods. Man, he is just shutting the door. But I've said something about it now, which means he's allow about to allow four goals in this third period. We've only got one. Don't let him tie the game early. Just hold our lead. Extend it if we can. Martin Jones is still just playing his heart out. He's got 24 saves. There it is. Kyle, uh, Clifford uh, gets the uh, game-tying goal. Power play for the Kings. Oh, no, this does not bode well. But we kill it off. Late stages. It might as well be overtime. It's final two minutes. Final minute. And we go to overtime in game one. Uh, Clifford gets the goal on Martin Jones in the third period. And... Uh, can't blame Martin Jones. Uh, one goal allowed through 60 minutes against one of the best teams in the NHL this year. Um, really can't be too upset with him. So, overtime. Let's go. Don't let it happen early. Come on. Game one goes to the Kings. Nolan gets the goal in overtime. And we... I, it's kind of hard to say we blew it because it was only a one-goal lead. But um, had that game in our sights and, uh, and, and, and lost it. Uh, who cares? Uh, best lines, because that's the minor league team, I want to say. Ugh, yikes. Game two. Let's go. I mean, this is, the, this is a tough opponent. Um, There's no, no doubt about that. Times eight, Sim. First minute. Pearson gets the goal. Great. LA Kings are playing well at home. They get the goal, put themselves on top. Shots are 7-5 to five, halfway through the first. Let's go. Nah, nah, Chris Rastig. 2 nothing Kings. Yeah, that's what I expected. Boy, oh boy. 2 nothing LA. So maybe we're due for a comeback now. They came back in game one. We're going to come back in game two and tie this series. Not going to be a... We, yeah, you knew this was going to be a tough series. We weren't def definitely going to sweep them. It's probably going to take seven games. There we go. Joe Pavelski gets us back in the game. Halfway through, power play. It's been so good for us, but they didn't, can't get anything done there. Power play's not been as good as it uh, was in the first series versus Vancouver because this is a better team. All right. Late stage is the second. No goals. Third period, only down one. Can't complain too much. Martin Jones is keeping us in the game. The offense just hasn't been able to score. <laughs> uh, I need to stop getting on Mikhail Bodker. He ties the game from the half boards. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. But a shot from outside the faceoff dots ties the game. And I, once again, we're looking at overtime. One minute left, 12 seconds. And for the second straight game, we go to overtime. This time, tied 2-2. Two, two. All right, come on. Get the goal. Tie this series. Come on. There it is. Brent Burns, of all people, gets the goal. 
And the LA Kings, they're the ones that blow the lead. A two-goal first period, no goals the rest of the game. So good job, Martin Jones coming through clutch. All right. So maybe, just maybe, we're having a good, a good day today. All right. Let's go. Come on. Play the next game. Let's see. <sighs> Back home. Home was kind to us last time. We won both of our games. Times eight on the sim. No early goals allowed by the uh, Martin Jones. Come on. Let's get the first goal for once. Hasn't happened. Yeah, there it is. Christopher Stieg, his second goal of the series on Martin Jones halfway through the first. If we could tie it up before the intermission, that'd be great. Goal for somebody. It's Pearson again. His second goal of the series again, and the LA Kings are all over us. Second straight game, they have a two-goal first period, and you kind of have a feeling that uh, this one might continue. Yeah, there it is. Rustique's got two, and it's 3 nothing. Comeback is uh, not looking very likely right now. They're out shooting us. They're out playing us. They're a better team. Power play. It's a long one. Must have been a, a double minor or a game misconduct, something like that. Um, but uh, nothing. Nothing doing through two periods here in game three. Nothing at all. We are outshot 20 to 16. We get a goal from uh, Tomas Hurdle, but literally 30 seconds later, Anze Kopitar scores the fourth goal for the LA Kings, and this game has gone off the rails. Halfway through the third, not at, I've seen crazier things happen, but um, we need to start getting uh, some goals now. It's getting late stages, and that will do it for game three. They, oh, they even added on, on another one, even without the empty netter. On Martin Jones, 27 seconds left. Five goals allowed by Martin Jones in uh, in game three. Yikes. Yikes. All right. Game four. I feel like we're playing for our playoff lives here. That is a minor leaguer, I think. Tie up this series. I feel like if we don't tie it up, this one might just be over. Get the first goal. I don't think we've gotten the first goal since game one. Let's go. Get the first one. We might be all right. 932. Power play for the Kings. Killed off, surprisingly. If we can have a goal this first period, I'll take that. Because we haven't been playing well in the first. 38 seconds left in the first. And that is it for the first. Let's go. Second period goal. Let's go. Austin Matthews, you've been quiet lately. <laughs> yeah called it austin matthews on johnny quick 15 55 to go power play for the really on De why why is dell in the net what happened to martin jones where's but oh no oh no auto goldie rotation should be off did martin jones get hurt oh no what is Dell doing in there anyway? It's not even our backup goalie. Oh, my goodness. Joe Thornton, you know, the first first minute goal in the third period. And then a power play. Long one. Nothing on it, though. Two to one. Come on. Tie the series up. Jerome again, the old man. Uh, Versteeg gets one. Man, Chris Versteeg's going off. There it is. Kyle Clifford. Tie game. Go figure. And we look to be headed to overtime again. And we are. 3-3 three, three this time. Each uh, team with a win in overtime in this series. And uh, if you really feel like this is this is us playing for our playoff lives right here. First minute. Over. Come on, boys. Austin Matthews. Somebody on that first line. Nope. Tyler Toffoli. And it is a 4-3 win for the LA Kings. We are facing elimination. Our only, our only uh, win in this series is uh, coming overtime. And we had to come back to win it. So we needed a spectacular three games to one comeback, and we are on the road. So not good. Best lines. Who cares? With minor leagues. Jesus. <sighs> Do I, I? No. I'm not changing any lines. I'm going to trust the lines I have. They've gotten me to this point. Let's go. Let's get the first one. Come on. Get the first one. There we go. Melker Carlson, of all people, gets the first goal. First period. Shots are nine to three. Yeah, that's what we needed. Well, don't don't call it a comeback. We might be. I feel like this this could be our game. Maybe score first. Goal is first period for the Kings. 
Martin Jones just needs to shut the door. Redeem Verbata, the old men coming through. Verbata, Iginla, all the old guys. Nothing from Patrick Mar Marlowe yet, but that's okay. Power play, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do we have a power play goal in this series? I don't think we do. I do not think we do. Second period, winding down. Don't let anything happen before we get to the locker rooms. And they didn't. Good stuff from, I would assume, Martin Jones. I don't know. I didn't get a notification about him being injured. So here we go. Third period. Ah, Jeff Carter. Yeah, Martin Jones is back in there. Jeff Carter scores. Uh, it's got me nervous. It has me nervous. Halfway through the third. Come on, power play goal, guys. Ah! Don't like this. Bad omen. Bad omen. Come on. Three minutes. <sighs> this team is cursed. I'm convinced. All right. Overtime. Come on. Somebody on that top line. Matthews. Oshi. I don't think Oshi scored a goal in the playoffs. Oshi. Pavelski. Any one of those guys. I'll take a goofball in the bottom six. Come on. Just anybody. Let's get this to game six. Game six, if we win this game, game six we can win. Game seven, anything happens. Let's go. Let's get let's get this overtime winner. Austin Matthews is going to get it. Austin Matthews. Power play, no! What are you doing? No, don't take penalties right after my speech. What are you doing? Halfway through the overtime. Ah, yes! Pat I called him out. Patrick Marlowe gets the goal, and we go at least to six games. All right, that's what we needed. The ultra old man gets it done. All right, we're back home for game six. Need to need to win this game and get this to game seven. There we go. Come on. Time's eight. Let's go. Let's get the first one. Home crowds cheering you on. The shark tanks roaring. Somebody's got to get the first goal. Somebody's messaging me. I don't care. Oh, and right. Uh, 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 that was bad luck. Oh, 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 there it is. Lewis and Brown, two goals for the LA Kings in the first period. Martin Jones is um, not playing well unless he's playing from behind. Pearson gets a third goal. I think we are done. All from uh, what looks like maybe his glove side. Yikes. Second period. Need a comeback. Getting out shot. 17 to 10. It does not bode well. Power play. We need a goal here in a worse way. No power play goals in this series. There we go. Joe Thornton got one. We're back in it. Just don't allow a quick one to them. Two goal leads, the worst lead in hockey. Going into the third. Don't let them score before the intermission. They don't. Let's go. Third period comeback. We're going to get this, and we're going to get it to game seven. Come on. Let's get some goals. Come on, boys. Anybody. Nope. Brown. Series over. And, uh, yeah, uh, there it is. Yeah, five to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This team is just too good. They're probably going to end up with 40 shots on Martin Jones. That's uh, it's just uh, not a good omen. 40 shots to 28. Ends up being 29. But year one for the San Jose Sharks GM mode ends with a game six loss to the San or the uh, LA Kings in uh, in round number two.